hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video we will be continuing the page object model with playwright and python series and in this uh, particular video i am going to continue from the last part where we have done uh, we have actually automated three test cases uh, that is one with login with standard user and then login with invalid user and then login with no credentials and in the logout file uh, we have automated test logout scenario but uh, the thing was, was thing was that like uh, we didn't add any code in the pages part and basically we just uh, did a one standalone I mean we just have written one standalone code where uh, everything was there like as you can see the problem what is the problem here you are getting so the problem one of the problem is like we are using same line of code multiple times like this part here uh, we are adding uh, like uh, I mean so basically like the locator so the username locator right the username field that we are using here now for example let's say uh, tomorrow this um, username locator got changed so what you have to do you have to change in every places where you have used so this is used here also this is used here you can see not here but in this file I think this is there yeah it is here so it should not be like that it should be so it should be somewhere in a centralized place where uh, like uh, if you go just there and if you change one time it would, it would be applicable for all other tests right you do not have to worry about like uh, like changing multiple times uh, in every pages you have to search like okay I have there I have here as well maybe there are uh, three more files are there where you are using so it would be very um, hectic uh, things right to do so uh, the base thing like uh, what you can do you can you can you can place all the login page locators in this login page file so that uh, you are not uh, you are not using I mean you are not creating another locator uh, in a other page so that's the that's, that's the thing I am going to do now okay now um, first what you have to do you have to create a class okay so we have created a class called login page and uh, then and you can see like I'm uh, using Pascal uh, Pascal code uh, Pascal case uh, notation so that is used for Python that is used in Python for uh, naming your class so the first letter of the word should be capital and the uh, whatever words you are writing next that is page or another word so that the P should be in capital but in other cases like uh, it, it, it is not mandatory to follow for the naming of your file but uh, if you're naming like uh, your um, methods like I have you, you can see here like this is written by playwright team so this is called snake case so get by placeholder so this is another standard they are following so make sure you are following these standards that would be great and um, next so this is a class so we know like if you declare a class there should be one co-constructor and uh, that is defined like this I'm assuming like you already know you have an idea about um, class and oops concepts so if you are not sure about it you can watch any other videos in play uh, in uh, YouTube so that you can get some idea and in future I may create some video on it as well but I do not have it now in my playlists okay now um, what we have to write here right so basically this constructor will take the page will take this page page will be coming from your test okay now do not worry about it I will explain it one second one we once we are done it once we complete this thing so just follow me so here we have to write like self dot page basically this is uh, same like uh, if you're coming from Java it is actually uh, same as like this dot something so basically like 
it it will uh, it, it is just assigning I mean it's actually creating one instance variable that is um, that is created for this particular object when you are creating an object from this login page uh, in that particular object uh, so a object I mean a instance would be created from this class and this self dot page will be accessing another instance okay instance variable so that is a page self dot page and we are assigning it with this one okay next uh, self dot page equals to page now what next so basically I am going to uh, like as you know like in uh, playwright team also uh, did the same thing in their documentation so I am trying to follow the same thing so basically we will be doing here self dot I am creating another instance variable uh, that is um, okay uh, that is let's say a username and that should be I can copy it from here so basically I am creating a locator okay locator variable uh, with this username now if you have noticed I have given one dash I mean not dash but underscore right what is the meaning of this underscore because uh, what is the meaning of this underscore here if I do not give what would happen so if you want to make your um, field or variable this is a variable right so if you if you want to make this instance variable uh, private to this class then you can use this uh, underscore if I do not give it that means it's a public uh, if you are if you if you are trying to access this variable you can access it from any other uh, class or file so if you want to restrict uh, it for doing this then you can use it basically uh, if you're working on this um, class kind of thing because uh, due to, I mean for there is concept called encapsulation in oops object oriented programming concept so in abstraction uh, encapsulation it should be we should it should not uh, allow instance variable to be accessed from other class it should be accessed using getter method only also if you want to set uh, any value in this variable then that should be also done using setter method so as I know like I, I will never update this value right so there there is no no questions of updating this username value so this is constant so I know like from a, 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 we not we will we'll never need it so that is why I want to make it a private thing and if I need to access this value then I can use a getter method that I can add it later if I need it now self dot password so what is the password this one okay next what uh, self dot let me open the uh, chrome as well okay so self dot login button mm, let me copy next what I think this three um, locator we will need it now what I'm going to do I want to create few methods that I need it which I need to use in my test method okay so the first method would be entering username in this field so enter username and add uh, this um, what is why you need to add the username right so username or anything you can update it like your name so self dot uh, username 
now from this file I can access because this is uh, same we are using the same class right so in that case it will not be problem but if you are using any other class from that class you cannot access this username so self dot username dot fill why we are not getting any option self dot username dot fill nope. is not giving the suggestion but let's use it self dot password no sorry I'm doing this so we have entered uh, the username also let me add one more thing like self dot uh, username uh, dot clear so before entering any value I'm trying to clear the field uh, it is not required for this website but in some website you can see like um, the there, there there could be some default text so that needs to be um, cleared before entering the value again so if that is why I'm adding it but it is uh, optional okay you can skip it now definition again another definition I'm adding for entering password password just wanted to check one thing why it is not giving I'm, so if I'm using it here like this or here maybe there and dot fill no it's not coming okay okay so next uh, definition should be like uh, entering password we have entered password next we will be clicking on the login button so click login and it should be we do not need any parameter to enter so that should be self dot uh, login button dot click okay next there should be another method that is that actually will be using these three methods to perform the actual login operation so do login and here uh, we'll need the three uh, so basically what we need we need username and password right so basically what we can do here we can add one credentials okay and here what we'll be doing we'll be entering the username enter user 
no we have to use self dot enter username uh, no enter username and uh, we need to pass the username as well so that should be coming from these credentials and these credentials would be one dictionary and dictionary can be accessed using this uh, like let's say there should be local username okay so basically we'll be sending one dictionary as a argument in this do login method okay and that uh, uh, that should be that we can access using this like credentials username and next self dot enter password and that like credentials and password okay and once we did it then we'll be clicking on self dot click login that's it so once we do it uh, it should uh, perform the login operation right now one thing you notice once one we, once we do this do login operation then the page will not be in the same page see once we do this login operation then we'll go to the home page or that is a product list page so for our case it should be this page so what we'll be doing here we'll be returning uh, this page of ob object return product uh, we need to create this page first so class product list page and use definition underscore underscore init and give pass okay I'm giving this pass just because I, I do not want to add anything right now so product list yeah it's coming here so you can see product list page and I need to use it should be coming here and also see pages product list page good and here this should be like this and here we need to pass page and here we need to add page as well so now this page should be coming from using self dot page okay because using self dot page you can access it but if you are using only page then it is like it is considered as a local variable which is not declared anywhere in this method so if you have to access the instance method of this class then you need to use the self keyword and then you need to use dot operator and then the page okay so our login page class is ready so next thing is like uh, we can change we can update it in this test login method as well so basically the first uh, the performance I mean the first um, uh, actions that is go to this website that should be handled by contest file so contest again another file that I have already explained in one of my previous video uh, when I was explaining about PyTest framework okay so that should be here you can see in this method I think it should be there in the playlist as well you can check these videos about related to PyTest framework okay and here you can see we have created this contest file so basically this is uh, used for handling your setup and tear down thing so if you have anything any any particular code of, or sorry any particular steps which you need to execute before starting your test and after uh, um, ending your test so those kind of steps can be uh, written in this file in this contest file and um, what are those steps so basically in our case like the browser opening things and um, the website launch so basically we are going to launch this website only right so for most of the cases we will be doing this uh, we will be launching this site because this is the starting uh, step and at the end uh, we should close the browser window and that is actually handled by uh, playwright itself so we do not have to do anything 
so it should be uh, this contest file would be very short I mean we do not have to write much code okay so um, let's uh, let's create this contest file now where we want to create it basically you should create it under this tests folder okay and uh, because uh, uh, if you have just only one contest file in that case you should create under this tests folder but if you have multiple contest file for each packages maybe you need some uh, different um, setup and tear down things to do right in this case in that case you can create it under this cards and check out and login individual contest file okay so as i have just one contest file right now so i can create under test and that should be like contest dot file make sure you are right, naming it with the same thing that i have used contest.py and here uh, you have to use this code i al already used it here so what i can do i can just copy it here from this file or um, yeah i can copy it like this thing mm, i'm just checking like yeah this is very big file okay let me copy it like this or maybe here okay and we do not need this code also we do not need this one removing it i need this pytest import option and here uh, we are actually we do not need the scope as well uh, because uh, by default it would be function scope only so we do not need it as well and this part also we can remove and this uh, set view port size it's also fine I think we can keep it like this basically it would resize your window in this f I mean width equals to 1536 and height equals to 800 and then it will launch sourcedemo.com and once it is done uh, then what I uh, want I want to yield yield uh, this page that's it okay and this setup and tier done should be used in this test login so here it, we should use it and as this setup and tier done is returning this page okay so that we can get it in this page and here also we can copy paste it um, see I do not want to execute we just I just want to execute first one one test method that is this one and then I want to execute the remaining one so for the time being I am just marking it as a so that it, it should not execute these files okay so for now I just want to execute one test and that should be, that is it that is this one now this line is also not needed because this is handled by com test file so i can delete it now this three line this three line also can be removed because we already have uh, we already have created one method called do login here now how do we access this method right so for accessing this method we have to create one um, login I mean we have to create one object from this uh, login page yeah so login page you can see class and here we need to pass the parameter as page so we created this object and using this object we can access that do login method now if you notice one thing we have created a object of login page if I press dot observe we do not have those um, instance variables that is dash underscore username underscore password so you cannot access directly those username and password if we need it if you need to use those variables later it, we will see another approach to access those variables now I, I have I have logged in to this website using this do login now 
once we uh, once we log in to this website then what happens so basically we need to verify whether we are logged in or not so once we logged in we can verify with this products uh, text right so that we can take it I think we already have it we do not have to inspect again this one okay so this is the locator right so this should go where where should I mean this locator where we should put this locator you can now guess this right so it should go in the product list page because this is um, this is um, this belongs to product list page right so now I can remove this past statement and here we can do like self dot page equals to page and um, next uh, self dot self dot what uh, self dot product list header and that should be our product header not list I do not want to make it big so product header uh, equals to um, page dot or we can directly copy it from that file. I think I will copy it. No. Um. Yeah, this one. Okay. So we copied uh, this product header. and now what we can do we can now see you can return it right so now what I need it uh, because basically I want to use this product header here this should be same this value so I do not want to change this thing this is exactly what I want so I can remove this part so basically for now how to how to get this value right so basically what we have to do this is a private variable and now uh, to get this value we can do something like this um, product header and return self dot product header okay now we will be using one an annotation that is called property so basically if you use this property annotation at the top of this method then whatever uh, now you do not have to use when you use it this product header now now let let me show you uh, let me call this method using this login p dot you can see here now we will be able to see that uh, no not to login okay one thing uh, basically we need to create object of this product list page because that method product header this one this is available in this product list page so and we know like right, uh, this do login this do login is returning this object already so what we can do here uh, we can take that object here so that is like products page okay and this products page dot now you can see here you can see this product header is now accessible so uh, because see if you cannot access this uh, underscore uh, product header because that is a private variable so this that's not available here so you can use this property directly now why why have not why have not if I do not give this so what what should happen it would consider it as a uh, method so you have to give that bracket right so as I do not want to give the bracket I just want to access it as a just a property okay just like uh, you access it like um, like this um, things like um, I mean any variable we are trying to access so that's why I just have to use it looks good okay and um, okay so we just uh, completed this scenario I think now we have to test it whether it's working as expected or not so let's run it and see 
if it is properly connected with the pages and the contest file and everything is like just integrated properly or not okay so we can run it like by test minus s test as headed and uh, we can basically that's it we need to give we can give some slow motion as well now let's hit run button I mean press the enter see it is it collected one item so let's see so source demo website is launched and it failed so let's see what is the problem it's good like it failed so that we can troubleshoot it okay so it's saying do login missing one required positional argument that is credentials that's great okay so what we missed we missed the username and password because this do login is expecting one credentials and that credentials we have not provided so what we have to do we have to create that credentials first so I can create this credentials here credentials and like we can give like uh, username and that should be um, what is that standard user and password secret sauce so we are just passing this dictionary directly here at once we go once we go inside this method you can see it's accessing uh, these values like secret source using this credentials password and standard user using this username now in future if you want to change uh, that value you can change it okay now we can run again let's see so standard user is entered and um, the next variable is also entered and you can see some delay because of that slow motion I have added and you can see the test passed also we can add another expect uh, assertions here as well so that is like product p dot uh, not um, yeah this one so basically you want to check like whether it's visible or not so to be visible yeah so first we'll be checking like this variable is present or not if this is present then we will check the text whether it contains products or not or it, it whether it's a it is a, it is having a text called um, products and let's run once again okay so uh, it's working fine and uh, I think you if you think like uh, it's not a good thing to give these credentials here later but uh, we'll, we'll try to change it we'll take it from some other file or some other test data source okay for now it's fine to keep it here and there are lots a lot of other optimization and uh, refactoring part is required uh, to make it a more sophisticated or more good thing okay so that's it for today's videos and uh, let me check one more thing here uh, that is uh, this login page I was not able to access this click method so why was that let me see if I can use now no only click Feel it's not there no it's not we are not able to access it so 
that's okay that's a problem actually not uh, I mean we should be able to access it from here also mm. okay maybe I will check it later why we're not able to access it here okay so that's it for today's videos and if you have any question and any doubts do let me know we'll be continuing in the next part thank you for watching